What's good guys, back with another video. In today's video, it is finally here. We're gonna be making pho for the first time. But before we start the video, if you guys are new to the channel and you haven't subscribed yet, make sure to do that right now. Also, for this video, all the ingredients are listed down below in the description, so make sure to check that out if you're gonna be making it. Let's get cooking. Today, we're gonna be making a Vietnamese noodle dish pho. A little fun fact about pho is I would say it's in our top five of all favorite foods. Mm -hmm. Also, I think me and you have easily logged over a hundred pho dates, would you easily. say? Easily. Easily, right? Yeah. Yeah, easy. So uh, we're really excited. We don't know how it's gonna come out, how we make it, but uh, that's the whole point of the video. So <laughs> let's get cooking. Let's, let's go. go. Stay tuned. These are all our ingredients right here. If you want to see the full grocery haul, we posted a video on our Instagram, so go follow that right here. First, we're going to make some broth. We got some beef bones and some oxtail. Also, the total of all the ingredients is about $150. We got some beef bones going in our boiled water. I'm going to put a good amount in it. This is what gives it that beefy flavor. Then we're going to put our oxtail in there also, just like that. Why are we doing this one? So we're gonna clean our meat and so we could get rid of all the impurities so the broth is clear. Uh, that is why. Okay. That is what I learned. What happened, Teresa? Uh, what happened? <laughs> it, it splattered on me. <laughs> so we're gonna boil this for about 10 to 15 minutes and then a key step is to rinse the meat thoroughly and to wash out all the impurities. Time's up, let's get our beef bones out and our oxtail out. You think monkey can eat this? Yo, I was just thinking that. Look it up. I said we give it some. I gotta clean it first. Now we're gonna wash our meat thoroughly and get rid of all that gunk. Yep. Oh my god, is that all the good stuff? But wait, if you do that, doesn't that get out all the flavor though? No, no, no. When I put this in the instant pot for two hours, that's gonna be all the flavors. Look at that oxtail piece. Yo, that's a real piece right there. The bones are now rinsed. We're gonna set this aside. Yo, it's a monkey right there, hovering the bone. We gave him a piece and he loved it. Monkey. I gave him one more piece. Right. <laughs> Up. Good boy. Good boy. Next, we're gonna be using this spice packet, which you can get from most Asian grocery stores, but you can also get it on Amazon. Now we're gonna toast these spices, and that helps bring out the flavors. You smell that? Yeah, it smells really good. We're gonna toast this, and once you see them dancing, they're ready. Now we're gonna char our onions and ginger. We got two whole onions and about eight slices of ginger going on. And we're gonna try to burn it a little bit. No oil we needed? I don't think so. Our spices are toasted enough. We're gonna add it to our spice bag, carefully. Ooh, it was hot. There we go. Also, this bag came with a package of spices, which is really convenient because I didn't have to get one. Our onions are charred. We're gonna take them off, and then we're ready, Zachary. Man, that, is, that is smells ready. good. I'm not gonna lie, it already smells like pho in our apartment. It smells like a Vietnamese restaurant. Yeah, it's it also really because does. of those mixture of uh, spices. Spices. Yeah. Well, let's get started with the broth. I'm so excited. Okay, so I'm not doing pho the traditional way where you you know, make it in a big pot and simmer it for six, seven hours. I'm just gonna make it in an instant pot because we are out of time. Yep, some may say lazy, but we just say efficient. Efficient. Now we can finally start on the broth. Beef bones going in. Then the spice bag, just throw it in. We're gonna start putting the onions and ginger. Now let's submerge it with water. Ready? Yes. Going in. Oh yeah. Then we're gonna do two tablespoons of fish sauce. One and two. One tablespoon of salt and two pieces of rock sugar. Alrighty, that's it. What we gotta do now? Put it on, cook it up. All right, let's do it. Now we're gonna use the Instapot. I forgot how to use it, so close this way. Okay, nice. Then we're gonna do pressure cook. And we're gonna do for an hour. Nice. <laughs> it's done. Now we wait for an hour. Okay, now we'll clean up and then we'll see you guys in an hour. Okay, okay, okay. We got about 12 minutes left on the Julius, Instant Pot. You dumbass! What are you doing? Zach is watching the next game. Oh! <laughs> We're probably gonna lose. And then, I, and then I am prepping over here. 
we got some green onions, some cilantro, and some onion. Oh my God. It's okay, they're gonna lose, babe. Oh. Hey, buddy. I'm just cutting up all the toppings. Stop. I'm just cutting up all the toppings, and then we're... Stop. I'm just cutting up all the toppings, and then we're ready to eat. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's go. Baby, it's done. Oh, yeah, is it? I think it's done. I think it's done. It okay, this is the scary part because I think I'm supposed to release the steam. 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 I'm gonna turn the vent on. I'm gonna turn the fan on. Are you ready? Yeah, make it go right into the vent though. Where is the vent? Uh, right there? I think so. Alright, okay, so I'm just gonna flip it and run away because I'm a little scared and monkey might bark. <laughs> Inspector Gator, what happened? <laughs> <laughs> Let me teach you. Let me show you, monkey. Eye level. Oh my god, my whole house is gonna smell like oh fog. My god. <laughs> oh my god, it's making a mess. I feel like it's slowing down, but I don't know. It's still going, yo. It's hot, right? Like really hot. Yeah, mad hot. We put way too much water, that means? I don't know. Okay, I'm opening it. Go for it. Oh, okay. Should we try it? Wait, is that in its final form right now, or is there, are you adding more stuff to the broth? Oh, I want to mix it around and see if anything like dirty stuff are, is there. Like for example, this thing, probably gonna toss that. I think. What is that? I think like like tendon or cartilage. This is pretty clear broth. I'm not gonna lie. Let's take out the stuff first and then try it. All right, let's do that. Yeah, I like. What yeah. You're doing. What are you doing right there? It's like not my first time. Is it your first time? No, no. Not no, first time. no. Right. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, that's hot. Damn, oh, that's not okay. that much soup. Are we gonna keep all that meat? I might keep the oxtail, hell yeah. We're definitely keeping all the oxtail, so yeah, I'm gonna pick that out. Those pieces are probably so tender. Oh. Yo. Look at that. Yo, make it for his lit. Let's go. Yo, but yo, this is not oxtail, I think, or is it oxtail? Who cares? It looks good. Don't it in. I'm gonna strain the soup just like this. Mm. So go in and get all that. So we got some clear broth going on after. The moment of truth. We've been waiting for this video to make pho for years. Uh huh. Let's do it, babe. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> it almost tastes like pho. What? It needs more. It's not it salty salt? enough. It's not like. Yeah. It's almost there. It's not nearly as salty. It needs salty salt, enough. and I feel like one of the spices is super heavy. And it feels a bit oily. Very oily, yes. Yeah. Yes. We're gonna try to fix it. In my phone, and I'm gonna search up on TikTok how to get rid of oil in the soup. Seriously, there's this thing. I know it's like something with like the ice. Did you pick up any oil? I mean, it's oily, but uh, if it's, is it picking up the excess oil? I, I don't know. I don't know. Yo, this is my first batch and I messed up. Baby, it is okay. It's not dead yet. We can still add stuff to it. Well, we gotta add some salt first off. Yeah. I feel like we gotta throw some MSG in there. <laughs> Yo. All right, guys, we tried to get some oil out. It, it actually works. A little bit, it a works. little bit. But what we're gonna do now is put this back on the stove, okay? And then I'm gonna throw in some beef balls and then maybe MSG. MSG. No? Yeah? <laughs> I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Okay, I'm just kidding. but whatever, whatever we feel like that will make the flavor right because this flavor is not right right yeah. now. Okay? It has potential though. You could taste the potential, yeah. but it's not there yet. Yep. So we're gonna turn this on. I'm gonna cut my meatballs and we'll go from there. These are the meatballs that we're using. We got this one. There's so many options, like 20, 30 options. But we got this one because there was literally like three left in the freezer section and we're like, this is the one. So we're gonna try it out. Yeah, there we go. That's the size of meatballs we be getting. All right, we added a little bit more salt and everything. Tastes a little bit better, I'm not does, gonna lie. It does, it does. But right now we're gonna throw in the meatballs, let it cook, and then try it and reassess, okay? Try them number here, guys. Meatballs going in. These meatballs are gonna be fire. All right, I'm ready. Okay. Cheers. Oh, that is so different now. Okay. It's so, good, much better. So I added some water, I took out some oil, I added some salt, 
some onion powder, mm. and some fish sauce. And it's been cooking in the beef meatballs. Yes, and the meatballs. We're good. And for our meat, we got some ribeye slices and some brisket slices. These are the pho noodles we're gonna be using. Now, I'm gonna bring this to my pot of boiling water. We're gonna cook this for about 10 to 15 seconds, I think. That's it? Yeah, just a dip. Okay. All right, just a dip. Just like that. 10 seconds? Yeah. So I'm gonna do that about four to five times. Finally, after three hours, we made some pho. Let's make a plate. First, let's get some rice noodles on. And one more. And just a little bit more. Now we're gonna throw some cilantro, green onions, and some onions. You want some basil? Yeah, I'll take a little bit. Okay, let me cut. And a little bit of basil. Now for the meats. Then we got some ribeye slices right there. That's definitely not enough meat. We're gonna add more. More, more. Then we got some rare brisket right there. Two more slices. And then take a look at our broth with our meatballs. Then let's add our meatballs right there and a little bit more. Let's go. Yeah, yo. This is where it gets interesting. Let's get the broth on. Ready? Yeah. Oh, yeah. We need more than that. And this bowl is deep. That's like the third one. I think we're gonna need five scoops. Okay, scoop number four. Oh yeah. Yeah, five, five, five and a half will be good. Yeah. Woo! Is that good enough or what? One more half one for good luck. And a half scoop for good luck. Sheesh. We're gonna finish it off with a little bit of lime. And there you go, my first time making pho. Let's eat. All right, guys, the food is finally done. We have made our plates, our bowls. Mm -hmm. Yo, let's go into this. Come on. Straight to it. Let's go. I'm Wait, just so try the broth, hungry. okay? Aye, aye, aye. Come on, how we always eat pho first. And broth, cheers. Cheers. That's really good. Okay. That's really good. The broth completely changed when you added everything else yes. to it. Yes. For real. Well, I will say, nowhere near restaurant. No, no. Nowhere near. For your first time, I think it's really good, for real. It, it tastes like pho, it has all the pho components, but again, I don't think you could sell this at a restaurant. Also, we didn't use any MSG. If you use MSG, yeah, yo, yeah, yeah. this would have been fire. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But I think the broth's pretty good, but I'm ready to take a bite finally. Any meat in this or just noodles? Just noodles and soup. And soup. Veggies? Sure. 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 It's really hard to do close up with noodles, especially no in the spoon. I know, so, yeah. uh, it's okay. Yeah. Cheers. Mmm. Mmm. Mm -hmm. That's pretty good. Noodles are overcooked. Overcooked for you. I like the noodles like this. Really? Uh, yeah. I like it when it still has that chewy texture. I like it like just like mm. this. If we do some meat. Mm hmm. Is your meat cooked all the way though? Yeah. Meatball. We got a meatball. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. No, oh, that's fire. That's lit. This is why there's only three packets left in the frozen section. Everybody took them. That is a good beef meatball. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm going to eat, right? Just eating, yeah. Yeah, we eating, right? All right, all right. We are free range to eat. Okay, and I got my sauce here with sriracha, hoisin, fish sauce, and lime juice. Yo, this is literally the perfect food for this weather right now. Yo, we, it's freaking 30 degrees in Texas. We're in a snowstorm right now. Mm. I'm not gonna hold you. Mm -hmm. I might need to get some more of those beef meatballs. <laughs> it's good. Mm -hmm. How was the experience of making pho? I was so intimidated to make pho. I've been pushing it off for like a year now. Mm -hmm. But, after convincing myself, like, yo, we got this, I can do this, it's perfect weather, it's not that bad, for mm. real. Two things went wrong. First, the pressure of the, the thing, that, that scared me OD, I didn't know it was gonna make a mess. And then, the broth didn't come out as good. Yeah, our house definitely smells like a Vietnamese restaurant right now. Mm -hmm. Neighbors down the block can tell. <laughs> also, I thought that the broth was gonna make, like, 15 to 20 bowls of fun now. Yeah, right. I knew it was gonna make mad little. Also, if you guys are wondering why we're not using bean sprouts, T is allergic. Highly yes. allergic. Yeah, so that's why. Yeah. I, I would use a little bit. I'm not really a crazy fan for it, but I'll, I'll use it. 
Also, today we're drinking water because we're focused on the pho bra. We're not yeah. trying to drink nothing else but water. Yep. Damn, babe. Yeah. For the first time making this, yo, this is lit, <laughs> for real. I can't wait to make this again. Well, actually, we're gonna be eating this for the next couple days, right? Well, there's no well we don't have broth, we have mad noodles. We can make a dry pho. Mm. We can make dry pho. For a standard, traditional pho, right? Let's say a combination large. What do you think the appropriate price is? Mm. Yeah. With inflation, in this day and age, $13 for a large with everything going on. But back then, should be like 10 bucks. Regular is like a nine, nine dollars, you know? Mm. Cause back then, for my lunch break, I used to just get full. Remember? Oh, you went, you remember we ate fun together? No, we ate. Oh, yeah, we, 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 we went on two lunch dates. Remember? I think I was 16, 15 mm. or 16. And I was working at a law office and you were working at a PT place and we went to go meet up for lunch and I brought you to pho bang. Yeah, you did. And I got pho and you got, of course, pork chop rice. <laughs> <laughs> but I used to be like nine bucks for mm -hmm. pho. Now it's like, I don't know. And now we're in Texas, so it should be cheaper, but it's also eight years later, nine years later. So. Mm -hmm. This is way too much noodle. I don't think we realized because it was all clumped up. Mm -hmm. And then when you pour the water, it expands. Yeah. It's pretty healthy too. You don't really use anything crazy. Damn, I forgot the oxtail. I was supposed to eat the oxtail, bro. Tomorrow? We can eat the oxtail tomorrow, for sure. Okay. I think if we had enough pho to rate it. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Okay. You can go first. I feel like this is gonna be harsh. I mm -mm. should be prepared for it. No, no, no. My rating for this dish, overall, I'm gonna give it a 7.5 out of 10. Okay. And what I'm basing it off of is all the bowls of pho I've had. Okay. Taking the average of that okay, okay. and then comparing that to this. Okay. So I'm gonna say it's 7.5. Yep. With that being said, <clears throat> a couple things I really liked is the customization. Like knowing exactly what I get to put in, how many pieces of meatballs, how many pieces of meat I get. Yo, that's a plus. Mm -hmm. um, the broth, it's good, but I just feel like if we had a restaurant broth side by side, we would be able to taste the difference. Of course. But yeah. by it's yeah. like just this is like. It's good. It's really good. Really, really good. But I, I need to have the side by side comparison to really know. Fair. Um, the noodles, a little bit overcooked. I agree. But and a little too much noodles, even yeah. for me. Yeah. But uh, yeah. I put yo, a lot yo. for yours. Yeah. But the meat, all the meat, fire. The meat is nine out of ten for me. Yeah. We need some good meat for this one. Mm-hmm. For me, I would rate this bowl of pho an eight point five out of ten. Knowing that it's my first time making pho, homemade broth, no MSG, right? All the meats, all the whole ingredients I use to make this, I would rate this at 8.5 out of 10. I think okay. it's good. Yeah, good, nah, it, it's good, it's definitely Of course, good. you compare to the best pho we had in Houston or the best pho we had in LA. Or in Dallas. Or too. in Dallas, yeah. No comparison. But for at home pho, not bad. I do think though, next time, I don't want to use an Instant Pot. Mm. That was so messy. I should have brought that thing to the balcony. <laughs> For real. I think I- I've been spitting. Yeah. I think I would have made it in a big pot and just simmered it for six, seven hours. Get that, you know, beef broth. But yeah, 8.5 out of 10 for me. I really think you should try it. For real, we made pho. Finally, we made pho. You made pho. Uh, okay, that was there. You got me clean. A little bit. And you have me try the broth over and over and over again until we got it. Genuine question. Uh -huh. Do you think that most of the pho restaurants we eat at, they use MSG? Yes. Mm -hmm. I think any restaurant you go to uses MSG. We can finally say that we made pho. Can I eat that meatball? Oh my god, you're a fiend. Here we go. Put it in the dungeon. In the dungeon. We are coming to the end of the video. Yo, this meal was lit. I'm, again, I'm just happy that we've gone through this process yep. of making pho. Cause once we do it once, we're gonna keep doing it and we can fix it and make also, it Also, we're living up to the king, Quang Tran. Yo. 
the king of pho. That's right. Yo, we've been watching, me and T have watched so many Quang Tran pho videos mm -hmm. when we were in college. We would like, remember when we would be on like a study day to be like, oh damn, we're eating Chipotle. Like, damn, when we would watch Quang Tran Quang eating Tran. pho. Quang Tran doing this. Slurps. You know? Yeah. Hot as hell, slurping. Crazy, but uh, yeah, yeah, guys, we're coming to the end of the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. T, give them the special word of the day. Yep. If you made it to this point of the video, make sure you comment down below the word beef meatball. Good choice. Yep. Comment down below the word beef meatball. This is the end of the video. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. We'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Yay, yeah, yay. Yeah, yeah.